Okay, well, don't like how that's fitted, but have to go with it. That's what they've got here. Hi there, Delroy here. Just come to this um, block of flats in Islington. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna fit an electric hob in. Usually, when I've fitted them before, I've usually have to alter the wood, the, the cutout. But this guy assured me that um, he checked and um, it's the same cooker, so the same hob, so it, same make hob, so it should just fit in. But even when it's the same one, it may be the same make and even the same model, but it's a newer version of the model and sometimes it changes, changes. I've never come across the one where it's changed and it fits in sweet. It's changed and you've got to alter the woodwork. Anyway, let's go up there and see how it goes. They say rainy days and Mondays always get you down. Well, today's a rainy Monday. <laughs> so it must be double. Uh, which one's block C? Oh, yeah, yeah. Thanks, mate. Yeah, they're up on the first floor. First floor, thanks. Yeah, when you get out there, if you do left. Okay, then, yeah. thanks, mate. Thank you very much. It's good when you've got a helpful caretaker. Right, so that's it there, yeah? Yeah, this is it. I'm and it's going here. Okay, well. And there's a switch here which is off at the moment. Which oh, that's cool, that's cool. Yeah. What I did say to Lenny is that yeah. um, you do get a little differentiation in that model to this model. Yeah, yeah. But hopefully it'll fit in nice. Yeah. Because it's cool. fitted to metal. Yeah. Usually it's wood and you can check the wood out, but if it's metal. Yeah. But hopefully, let's hope that everything goes good. Oh, yeah. Thank <laughs> I'm you. sure it will. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, cross, yeah. Cross cool. been out for a while. <laughs> Looks like this just pushes up. Oh, cool. Sweet. Oh, as sweet as sugar. Okay, well, don't like how that's fitted, but have to go with it, that's what they've got here. See, you've got to do that better than that. Um, uh, they haven't got no flex outlet. I think that's coming straight from the switch there. I don't want to get involved with trying to change that. So I'm just going to have to work with it. Right. I've turned off there. So just to make sure never take any chances with these things yep it's dead yep i've got my scraper cable gripping I had to use one of the old screws I'm sure there should be screws that come with it because I've done I've done one of these I've done copper um, cookers with links before but ages ago I can't remember yeah I'm sure they gotta go in I was gonna try and use these lugs but I don't think I can fit them in yeah if I use lugs it's just gonna be very awkward that's why I would always try and use flexible cables so you could bend it around the screws or whatever. What I'm going to have to do is part it. I think the inter thing to add twice. 
crack some. Alright. Oh, it's slightly awkward because it doesn't come in the middle. You've got this little bit of plastic that is to the side of it and you've got to sort of bend it a little to make sure because you don't want to cross thread the screws. It's always with these things, you can't rush these things, you've got to take your time, make sure you get it right because you don't want to cross thread the screws, that's the worst thing. Yeah, the blue cable was sticking on this part here. Yeah, see that there? It was sticking there. So I just had to push it down there out of the way. I could have forced the cover on, it would have looked okay, but I don't think you should have to force stuff on, you know? Okay. So let's go again. Oops. Because you can see how that's distorted. Yeah, they forced it on. As you can see, the cable wasn't even connected properly. That's the old one. All right, so. Now that's okay. A lot of old junction boxes down there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there, sorry, I don't, I don't think, I thought I filmed it, but that was my ZS reading, 0.67. Well, it's working, but this is an odd one. You, usually there's a display light on it, isn't there? But all it does is just comes red. Ah, look, yeah, there's a light there. Right, well, that one's over and done with. Um, it, I had a bit of trouble getting it in properly because um, the previous one, it just dropped in and it just pushed out. This one had clips on two sides. And when you pushed it down, you hear this clicking sound like it was in place, but it kept springing back up. Finally, I got it down. One side was down good, but this, but the other side was springing up. Nothing you could do about it. You'd have to either get some sort of mastic and go around it to fill up the little gap. But um, it's all working. We couldn't figure out to get it working. The instructions are br brilliant. So I, then I just thought, let me turn it on. I turned it on. I felt a little heat. And then you turn it right up, and that's when you lights on. I expected to see some sort of indicator light come on. Because usually when you switch these on, you hear like a little noise or something to let you know it's on. But this one's different. Anyway, so that's all good. Done. On my way.